Swapo. I don't want Swapo. I don't get anything from Swapo. What is Swapo for? I must use a party, a party who will change for us in Namibia. Oh, we are here. We are waiting Dr. Itula to say welcome back home. Uh, and we like Dr. Itula. We love Dr. Itula, not to love Dr. Itula really. Just we want change. The things that made me stood up is that, you know, our country is really um, contaminated with uh, corruption practices. And this is one of the highlights that he say he is eager to address. And this is also what make him stand up in a party where he is a member, but he is, he is having a different ideology. That gives you already moral that, that um, he have a different ideology from that of the party that is still running the country. I really think Dr. Etula is the right candidate because as in within the past five years, we are really looking for change. And as we, the, the youth, we really want uh, some certain change in the parliament and in the country. Affirmative repositioning movement leader Demilokeni Nyoma was also present and expressed similar sentiments of that of the sympathizers. Um, we are exactly 13 if not 14 days from the uh, voting day. And the most important part is for us to place and weigh all political parties and their manifestos at hand and see which one is best suited for this country, which one is best suited and which leader is able to articulate issues of policy issues that affect us on the grassroots level. We are assessing and we've been in discussion. Uh, as a conscious activist, uh, my, op my, my, my choice to rally behind uh, Dr. Panduleni Tula, we had a one-on-one -on -one discussion that had uh, enlightened me on the manifesto that he has presented towards the, the Namibian people. We're speaking about agrarian reform, he's speaking about structural adjustments, speaking about economic adjustments to the economy. The Student Union of Namibia Sun President Simon Aminime said that Itula's campaign has ignited voter interest in the youth and given them a sign that change can happen in their lifetime. It's because we've uh, found hope, we've found inspiration into the democratic system of Namibia. We've given up. Most of us were saying we are not going to vote any longer. But with the emergence of the doctor, you have restored confidence, uh, you have restored hope into us. That's why we are giving our support in our individual capacity. Where we live, we are mobilizing our families, our neighbors, eh, our girlfriends and our friends eh, that we hang around in bus to come and rally behind the doctor. The doctor has really brought hope to the people of Namibia that we have to do away with party politics. So what is even giving us hype now is that we have heard from the outcomes of the special eh, election, the result that have came out. And we are doing extremely well, relatively well. The doctor is leading and we are very happy. So the message we are giving to young people is that uh, the power of change is in our hands and it's just high time that we utilize that power to change Namibia for ourselves and our children in the future. Unverified results from the votes cast during the special elections this week indicate that Panduleni Itula has gained more votes than President Aki Kengob and leads in the presidential race. However, the Electoral Commission of Namibia released a statement stating that some of the results might be fake.